Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Thinking Beyond YouTube channel. I'm Marenia and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the Notion Tracker and how to use it. If you managed to get to the preparation stage, well done. This means you followed our instructions well and submitted a formally correct application. In particular, we are convinced that you had a proper look at the schedule and the commitment that's expected in our program and have a plan in place on how to manage it all. It's important that you continue to perform well in the preparation stage and commit to creating a strong and structured Notion Tracker. The Notion Tracker is a part of your PKM or your personal knowledge management system. This is where you compile and organize knowledge from resources that you engage with. A few examples of these resources are textbooks, reliable online sources, videos, podcasts and lecture notes. The Notion Tracker is where you gather all the facts that you learn through these resources and group them topic-wise for easy reference. When you click on the link that has been emailed to you, this is the page that you will see. You won't be able to edit anything here, so make sure to duplicate this tracker into your personal Notion account. If you don't have a Notion account, please create one prior to this step. Once you duplicate the page, you will have your own copy in your personal Notion. Here, you can edit the tracker. Start by adding your name to the tracker. In the first block, you will see the link to the resource page. This is where you will find essential resources that will help you build your foundational knowledge in the prep stage. During the prep stage, you should all be working with the resources given in the resources page. The resources page has guidance on how to work with the provided resources meaningfully and build expertise by taking a researcher's point of view. There will be a separate video on how to work with the resources page and we will add the link to the description when it's ready. If you watch the video outside of the application window and if you're a high schooler in particular, we recommend you start working on the resources page right away to build your foundations because it takes time to do so. After going through each of these and actually clicking through the individual resources in each section, if you know you are already confident with everything here, you are welcome to dive deeper into these topics using your own resources and track your progress in the tracker. Doing this has no effect whatsoever in your selection to the program, and we only expect you to go the extra mile if you are actually 100% confident that you understand the provided resources conceptually, which means you are confident enough to map your knowledge of the topic to real-world applications. Sort of like how you would naturally know to use subtraction to calculate change at a shop. It goes without saying that your resources need to be relevant to the program. For example, if you have done a Python programming course in web design and are confident in that area, it does not mean that you have the necessary coding knowledge for machine learning applications. So please do go through the provided resources to help fill your tracker. In your copy of the tracker, it's important to expand all the folded sections and read through the instructions carefully. I will not be explaining the instructions word for word in this video because everything is already in the tracker, so please do take your time and go through them. In the topics and timeline section, you will see a table where you can track your learning. When you hover over a topic, a button to open it should appear. Clicking on this would open a pop-up panel where you can type relevant notes. You can also visit subtopics in this view. Clicking on these would take you to the relevant pages. We encourage you to take notes while engaging with resources. This is very effective in personal knowledge management and also helps you build a tracker with a strong evidence that you have actually engaged with the resources and consolidated your knowledge. In your notes, you can include things like knowledge gained, how it maps to existing knowledge and questions you might have. The part I have just shown you is the part we have built for you as an example on how to work with the tracker. You will need to create the other pages and subpages for other topics by yourself. Reviewers won't be clicking on any external links, so please submit screenshots as evidence of collabs, handwritten notes or anything you would want to add as external links. 
This is the required quizzes section. Everyone needs to complete all these quizzes and submit a screenshot with the title, the score and the date as shown in the example. Attach a screenshot of the completed quiz under its name in this section. The final section is where you paste your video log links. The instructions on how you should do that is given in detail here. In summary, you upload your weekly blog to YouTube as an unlisted video and copy paste the link in the second column of the table where it says link to video recording. Fill in the date and the mood of the blog. For the mood, you can talk about how you're feeling about the content you learned that week. Again, there is a folded set of instructions here about your final blog, which is the last log that you will upload in the tracker on the last week of the prep stage. Please do go through these instructions thoroughly before sharing your tracker. Finally, I will show you how to share the tracker with us. These instructions are also already given in your tracker. Click on the share option on the top right of your screen. Head over to the publish tab and publish your Notion page. You will receive a form to submit your tracker link before the final submission deadline. In this form, you will link the published Notion tracker, not the link of your personal copy of the tracker. If you have successfully followed all the instructions, recorded weekly blogs, completed the final challenge and blog, and linked the tracker properly, you will be considered for the course stage. Now, I know this might sound like a lot, but to be a good researcher, it's important that you know how to follow instructions well. So shoot your best shot in the prep stage and make your tracker stand out. You've reached the end of the video and know how to make good use of the tracker. Remember, thoughtful reading is as important of a skill as personal knowledge management is to a successful researcher. Everything I talked about in this video and more is already keyed into the tracker. So make sure you go through the instructions there if you need any more clarity. Once again, congratulations on reaching the prep stage and we look forward to seeing your completed Notion trackers.